What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Alright, who's ready for today's start question? How many RMCs have you ridden and which was your favorite? For me, this is probably going to be Twisted Colossus, Starry Steel Vengeance, followed by Medusa, and all three were awesome rides, but today's coaster is something perhaps better than all of those, and something I've personally been itching to ride for years now. And I'm sure many of you can already guess which coaster this is now, especially given the title, but for those that can't, check this out. Reaching a height of 180 feet and speeds of up to 67 miles per hour, today's RMC opened in 2019 to great acclaim with three inversions and over 5,000 feet of track that was actually constructed from an old Japanese wooden coaster that operated up until 2018. Pretty cool, huh? Its overhaul has since consistently placed it as one of the best roller coasters in the world, and many enthusiasts and people in the general public claim that to be true as well. So what makes this coaster so awesome? And where did it come from? And what was that mysterious coaster that still makes up its structure today? This is the story of Nagashima Spa Lands, White Cyclone, and Hakuge. Opening on March 28, 2019, Hakuge, or White Whale in English, is a large hybrid roller coaster located at Japan's Nagashima Spa Land that was constructed at a cost of roughly $1 million and converted from a prior wooden roller coaster. That roller coaster, known as White Cyclone, originally opened in 1994 and was a build from Swiss manufacturer Intamin. At the time, there had only ever been one wooden roller coaster built in Japan prior to the creation of it, and its large size and extreme lengths made it a worthy showstopper for incoming guests. It was said the Alaskan lumber used to build it was enough to construct nearly a thousand homes as well, and it consisted of several elements including helixes, drops, bunny hills, turns, etc. It was also designed by Dennis Starkey, who many of you know is the man responsible for other rides such as the Donia Beach Hurricane, Viper, and Regina. However, with that said, the coaster did begin to get a little bit rough over its years of operation, and complaints from riders began increasing as a result of it. So what was the solution? Well. There was a certain American manufacturer over in Idaho that had been restoring wooden roller coasters as of late, and many theme parks who contracted them to update their rides had been ecstatic about the idea given the low cost and general positive approval from riders. That company was of course Rocky Mountain Construction, and Nagashima Spa Land sought the same fate for its very own White Cyclone. And so in 2018, RMC refurbished the coaster using its patented iBox track technology and renamed the ride Hakuge. White Cyclone's height and speed were both increased by large amounts, and three inversions were added to the layout in the form of a 0G stall and two rolls. The refurbished ride opened on March 28, 2019, and White Cyclone officially bit the dust. According to my friend Antonio, here's how he liked Hakuge. Hakuge, easily one of the best RMCs, and I have been on almost all of them. It's my number three coaster overall. The first drop is insane. The double up is unreal. The outward banks are absolutely phenomenal. So intense. And all of the inversions are perfectly paced. Hakuge is the example of what an excellent RMC is. So all that said, and just based off videos and stories of it, I have to say, Hakuge is easily on my top 10 bucket list coasters, and it looks like it could definitely be a top 10 contender amongst my favorite attractions. The ride is a beautiful and crazy thing to look at, and I can't wait to experience it myself one day. So if any of you have ridden it, or White Cyclone for that matter, definitely let me know down below, because I'd be super curious to hear your take. But besides that, I really don't have anything else for you guys today, so stay tuned for another video coming in a couple days, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, that'd be much appreciated. Go ahead and make the best of the rest of your days, and we'll see you all there. See ya!